Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have some great news in relation to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So as you know, this phone is going to be released on February the 1st, and on the same day you are going to be able to pre-order this phone. So it is right around the corner, and we know just about everything about the phone. However, up until today, we were not sure exactly which image sensor the S23 Ultra was going to be using. Well, now we do, because Samsung has officially introduced their brand new 200 megapixel image sensor known as ISOCELL HP2, which is most likely going to be in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it's going to bring three significant benefits to the camera, which is going to bring it to the next level. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what those three things are. Now before we move further and reveal some critical information, make sure to click the link down below to reserve your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in your favorite color. And by doing so, you'll also get up to $100 in Samsung credit, which is basically free money that you can use on the day of the pre-order, which will be February the 1st. So once you click that link, you're going to be at this website. This is Samsung's website. You can even scroll over here to the next slide and watch the teaser trailer that has a bunch of clues. But what you want to do is you want to scroll down, you want to click on reserve both, that's the Galaxy smartphone and the Galaxy book, and that's a $100 Samsung credit. And then you scroll down, put your name, last name, email, you do not have to put your phone number and then click reserve and you're going to be good to go and locked in for the best deal. This is a no-brainer because there's no obligation to buy. If you reserve and you buy, you save. If you reserve and you do not buy, you just move on. Nothing happens. All right, so if you read the press release for the uh, ISOCELL HP2 that Samsung has published, one of the things that really jumps out is this portion right here. It says, in low-light settings, the HP2s out of focusing is taken to the next level with Super QPD, which allows the sensor to use all of its 200 million pixels for focusing. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't exactly understand what that means. Here's what it means and how it's going to benefit you. So, it is going to translate to faster out of focusing in dimly lit environments. So currently, if you were to grab an iPhone 14 Pro Max and a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and if you just reduce the lights in the room and you try to focus on objects in low light, iPhone 14 Pro Max actually focuses faster than the S22 Ultra, and in fact, significantly faster. So that was one point of weakness with the S22 22 Ultra focusing quickly in low light conditions. This improvement specifically is going to address that problem so it is going to translate to faster auto focusing in dimly lit environments. That is fantastic. Of course it is going to be contingent on how well they execute the software and the hardware together but this is what I like to see. Now another very important part of this uh, HP2 sensor is the 8K video recording capability. So basically when you switch to 8K recording on your Samsung Galaxy phone on the S22 Ultra, the image actually gets cropped a little bit and you get to record a little bit less of the scene. So what you would have to do is you would have to walk back a little bit to capture more of the scene because the image gets cropped. With the HP2 sensor, that issue is going to be resolved because the phone is going to be able to use more megapixels, which is going to minimize cropping at 8K so you can record more of the scene even as you're closer to the subject. Now, another important thing in the press release is washed out pictures from brightly lit environments can be significantly reduced with the HP2. So basically, if you go out there and if you take a photo in an extremely bright environment, sometimes things might look a little bit washed out. And again, with HP2, what this is going to translate into as a benefit is it is going to reduce overexposure in these brightly lit environments and also enhance color reproduction. So the photo is simply going to look more balanced, more clear, and better exposed. Now I'm not saying the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 
does a bad job with this, but it could be better, and that's what HB2 is promising. So that's fantastic. Again, to summarize, we're looking at faster focusing in low light conditions. We're looking at better exposed photos with better color reproduction in brightly lit environments. And we are looking at 8K video with less cropping. All these things, when you add them up together, are some significant improvements to the previous generation. And that's the details that we have on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's potential image sensor, which is going to be ISOCELL HP2 by Samsung. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.